Okay, hey everybody. In this video here, we're going to do a little bit of coordinate geometry. Uh, we're going to find the equation of the line that passes to the point negative 1, negative 2, and is perpendicular to the line 2x plus 5y plus 8 equals 0. Okay, so normally I am going to prefer the point-slope form of the equation of the line or the slope-intercept form. You are going to need to figure out what it is your, your teacher wants from you, okay? That's the best I can say. Is you're going to have to figure that out here. But these are, are two of the more common ones. Um, there are the standard form and the general form here. Uh, those are actually more useful if we're talking about lines that, that are either horizontal or vertical. But for the most part, this is what you're going to get here. But you, got, you do got to figure that out here. Now, I know that it passes the point negative 1, negative 2. That's awesome. What I need is to figure out the slope. And I know that it's perpendicular. And remember what that means. Okay? This means we're looking at the negative reciprocal of the slope that we're given. So we're given this line 2x plus 5y plus 8, uh, sorry, 2x plus 5y plus 8 is equal to 0. I need to figure out the slope of that line, and I'm going to do that by solving for, for y there. So 5y will equal negative 2x minus 8, and then I'm going to divide by 5, so it'll be negative 2 fifths x minus 8 fifths. The slope of this line is negative 2 fifths, so therefore, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to it will be the negative reciprocal. So we're going to change the sign to a positive, and we're going to reciprocate the fraction. So the slope that we're actually looking for is the slope 5 halves. But now I have everything I need. So I again, I know it's going to the point negative 1, negative 2. So this will be y minus negative 2 is equal to 5 halves x minus negative 1. And then I just need to simplify the... The negatives here, so y plus 2 is equal to 5 halves x plus 1. If I want to get that into my slope-intercept form, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by that slope, so 5 halves x plus 5 halves. And then I'm going to bring the 2 over, so y is equal to 5 halves x plus 5 halves minus 2, and I'm going to need to Put the um, add those two terms together, those two uh, constant terms. So I've got a uh, common denominator of 2. So it'll be multiply here by 2, multiply by here by 2. And so y will equal 5 halves x. And then I'm going to have 5 halves minus 4 halves, which will just be 1 half. And here are the two equations of the lines that we would normally be expecting for this question. 